What is it like being single? I like it. I like starting each day with a sense of possibility. And I'm optimistic because every day I get a little more desperate and desperate situations yield the quickest results. Yes, it is true. I, Michael Scott, am signing up with an online dating service. Thousands of people have done it and I am going to do it. I need a username and I have a great one. Little kid lover. That way people will know exactly where my priorities are at. Oh, wow, look at those. How nice for you. Up there front and center, beautiful. I think they would look better right here. They're very pretty and I wouldn't want them to fall. I was a little nervous when Pam told me he was her boss, but he doesn't act like a boss at all. <laughs> if I had a boss like that, we'd never get anything done. So what do you think? About what? About Julie. She seems nice. Yeah, yeah. Do you like her? Uh, yeah, sure. So Pam was right. About what? About you two hitting it up. Well, apparently, Michael Scott is on a date, and that, that, my friend, changes everything. No question about it, I am ready to get hurt again. Okay, Wendy, hot and juicy redhead. Let's give this a try. Wendy's. Hello, Wendy. This is Kevin's friend, Michael. This isn't Wendy. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you put her on, please? Dude, this is a Wendy's restaurant. Damn it, Kevin. Okay. Um, could I just have a Frosty and a baked potato, please? You have to come to the restaurant to order food. Well, I'll send somebody to pick it up. Just have it ready. It's ready now. Well, I'll put it aside. Hello. Hi, I can't talk right now, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Whew, I'm really nervous. Yeah, me too. Yeah? Uh, when I get nervous, I sort of clam up. And... Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, it's better for me just to be quiet. Yeah. yeah. Hi. Can I point something out to you? Sure. You're actually talking a lot. Yeah, sorry, it's the other <laughs> thing I do when I get really nervous. Okay, here we go. Right, here we go. Oh, God. Mm. Just relax. Yep, I'm good. Ooh. Wow. Uh, I feel like a human juice box. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hawaiian blood punch. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Type ocean spray. Oh, God, stop. <laughs> stop it. Yeah. What? I looked at the bag. Oh. I looked straight at the bag. That's not good. Could you distract me for a second? Just talk about things that don't have blood in them? <laughs> well... <laughs> Okay, um, bags. What? That, Sorry, that was bad. That was me. Um, a hat. A hat. A hat with no blood in it? That is full of soup. You're cute. What? You're done. Oh, already? Oh, uh, we did it. Ooh, wow, I was so nervous about this. I don't think I ate for three days. We should have your contract done by Thursday. Oh, great. Great, I will look out for that stuff then. Okay. And, um, you know, I just wanted to say it was really, really nice to do business with you. Yeah, it was nice to do business with you, too. Thank you. Did I get everything? I don't know. I yeah, think so. I think so. Okay. So, oh, Donna? Yeah. Do you need validation? We don't, we don't validate. No, so. it's just in the lot. Thank so. you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mm. <laughs> Bye. <clears throat> so, um, so if, you have, if, you have, if there's any other questions that you have. Or you want to... I don't have uh, any other questions. I'm just going to make my way down to okay. my... All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a good elevator ride. Okay. Oh, what's that out there? Oh. 
Michael, how did it go? Bros before hoes. Why? Because your bros are always there for you. They have got your back after your hoe rips your heart out for no good reason. And you were nothing but great to your hoe. And you told her that she was the only hoe for you. And that she was better than all the other hoes in the world. And then... Then suddenly she's not your hoe, no mo. Pam, you're trustworthy. Thank you. And a woman. Oh no. And I want you to listen to a voicemail from my boss. Michael, it's Jim. I guess I missed you. I'll uh, be there this afternoon for performance reviews. I hope it's understood that that will be our only topic of discussion. See you soon. First impressions? Uh, just off the top, I think she'll be here this afternoon. My boss is coming in today. The lovely Jan Levinson Gould will, well, no Gould. The Gould has been <laughs> divorce. Um, the awkward part is that this is the first time we'll be seeing each other since, well, uh, it was really nothing. We just sort of got caught up in the moment. The vulnerable divorcee gives herself to the understanding with the rugged good looks office manager. Just, uh, she didn't want it to continue for some reason. It, we both didn't, I didn't want, we both didn't want it to continue. It was not professional. Um, when people say something's mutual, it never is. But this was mutual. Thank you very much. Our suspect has straight brown hair. She is wearing blue jeans and a black top. So, behold our bachelorette. Give her a 10 for looks and a three for her ability to describe herself. Hello, my lady. Michael? Ah. Uh. Are you Michael Scott? Is who Michael what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm supposed to be meeting someone named Michael. Oh, that's not, yeah, I'm not. Michael? Okay. Michael? Large hot chocolate with caramel and a shot of peppermint. Oh boy. It's all right. Hey, Michael, where have you been? Hey, you're supposed to hit the white ball first, buddy. Hey! Nice one. Can I talk to you for a second? Mm hmm. Right. Everything okay? Why are you wearing a hat now? Guys, come on. I'm on a date. Let me do my thing. Hi, I'm Date Mike. Nice to meet me. How do you like your eggs in the morning? Hey guys, guys, guys. Use a wall. Watch this. Ready? What are you doing? I'm trying to not in your stomach with my tongue. Michael, you don't have to do this. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Oh, wow, that was close. I would say I kind of have an unfair advantage because I watch reality dating shows like Hawk and I learn. I absorb information from the strategies of the winners and the losers. Actually, I probably learn more from the losers. These people need love, and I am going to get it for them. Who cares if we sell a little bit less paper today? A great boss cares more about the happiness of his employees than anything else. I'm going to be Cupid, and I'm going to shoot my sparrow at unsuspecting victims, and they are going to get hit and say, oh, I'm in love, I was hit by Cupid's sparrow. Funny little bird, but he gets the job done. <laughs>